you know, of all the talk radio hosts that are out there who I sometimes listen to just for entertainment value, I find the most entertaining of them all to be Michael Savage, who, um, you know, had a show for a while. Now he's on a podcast, you know, and one of the things that I find entertaining about this guy is, first of all, just personally, he is like a bizarro version of my own father. I think that's why I'm drawn to him. He's a mm -hmm. Bronx Jew. My father was a Bronx Jew, uh, grew up, you know, uh, I think his parents were Russian. My father had one Russian parent, one German parent, you know, so both kind of came from the same place, have similar ways of speaking, similar senses of humor, but completely different politics and attitudes. And so mm -hmm. it's like the parallel universe version of my dad is Michael Savage. And um, the other reason I find this clip interesting is because I remember sort of publicly musing about the idea of creating a dissident kitchen cooking show where I would cook a meal and teach you how to cook and talk politics like in during one of the slow periods while the water was boiling or whatever. And right. so this is just some really really bonkers material from Michael Savage from his kitchen while he's cooking. So we're not going to see him in this clip. He's holding a smartphone, watching his food cook and look at the stream of consciousness rant. Think of the anger that is in this man uh, that all this would come out <laughs> while cooking his food. Keep in mind, this guy did have a heart attack a couple of years ago and, you know, thankfully he's okay, but it's not hard to see how he gave himself a heart attack watching this clip. Okay, here we are, Sunday night. The country's going to hell. And uh, I'm reheating some food I made last <laughs> night. You know, there's an art to everything, including reheating food. So I even bought a pre-cooked chicken, put the sauce on it, but tons of, of basil leaves. Children, don't forget your basil. Wonderful food. We're not living in Cuba yet where the, even the basil leaves are, are stolen by the vermin at the top, the scum at the top, the vermin at the top, the <laughs> Bidens and the Harrisons and the occasional cortex lying communist bastards. They steal even the last basil leaf. I tell you, it's for the people, those. But I'm trying not to be political. Oh, no, I won't, I won't be political. He's trying to just have a peaceful <laughs> cooking show, a little, little bond with his Sunday audience, night. some white wine. That's all. Nothing mm -hmm. more. It's relaxing. My name is Michael. So Tuesday, yeah. we're expecting Mr. Trump to appear on the Savage Nation podcast. Fingers crossed. Yeah, Savage was like the first right-wing radio host to support will. Trump. Like Levin and Hannity were all like yeah. Cruz, Rubio people. Right. You know, right. Savage heard Trump and he went right for him. Yeah. Even, even, even Limbaugh, right? Limbaugh yeah. yeah, they right. were all. Yeah. Savage was the first. I want to talk about the voters' remorse of even middle of the road people who voted for that lying prick, that lying, <laughs> that lying criminal Biden. It's a Biden gang. Here's him and his son really are criminals. Good. Everybody sees this. Anyone with a brain knows this. Everything they accused Trump of that he didn't do, they were doing. Ukraine, Russia. Uh, a bunch of bums, scum. I've never seen anything like this. And I'll tell you who's the worst. The media. They destroyed this country. A trans with a schmendrick swinging it in a girl's bathroom. That's okay to them. <laughs> Trans with a schmendrick, a trans with a schmendrick <laughs> swinging it in a girl's bathroom. This is this is one of the things you admire about the right is that they really know how to get people angry about the culture war stuff. Like yeah. transgender bathrooms, like we cannot kind of understand how some people will be uneasy about that. But the reality is, the worst that's going to happen ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time is that you're going to hear a toilet flush and see kind of a person who may be a man, maybe a woman walk out of it. That's what they're going to do. They're going to go to the bathroom. They're not going in there to bother anybody. They're not going into the bathroom swinging their schmendrick around so that <laughs> when your daughter walks in, they'll see you. But they know how to frame it. We're like, hmm, let's see. What's the most offensive possible scenario for trans bathrooms? You're going to be okay with a well, transgender... Well, well and, and also, if you... There are stories that make the rounds in the right wing, you know, very selective 
stories um, that reinforce these narratives that don't make it into the left media. Like, for example, there was a story they were all over, all of the right wingers. Um, some guy who, like, really was just had a mustache and, you know, had, right, in no right, right. way had tried to alter himself to reflect like a feminine gender. Um, went to, uh, a, like, spa. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the women were freaking out because it was just like, from their perspective, a dude hanging out in the women's room. Right. And they drove him out. And the person who ran the spa was um, reprimanding the people who weren't comfortable rather than this person. And actually, I think called the police. Man, they were all over that clip. They well, were yeah, all because, over that clip because yep. it because it, it, it that's exactly what they want to see. And as you say, the vast majority of people who are going to be taking advantage of transgender bathroom laws are not that guy. It did seem like that guy was trying to take advantage of the <laughs> permission. Um, Ninety nine point nine percent are not that guy, but they found that guy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and they spread that video everywhere. Exactly. So when he says something like this. You got to remember people who would be watching the savage cook, whatever the hell he's cooking <laughs> there. They're all familiar with these images and these narratives. So he's speaking a language they've already been trained to. A trans with a schmendrick swinging it in a girl's bathroom. That's okay. To <laughs> Are you crazy? See, most of you don't have children. You had a child and someone did that to your child. You cut there. Are you crazy letting this go on in your country, calling it? Equity, equality, it's not equality, it's perversion, it's sick. It's degenerate and sick! <laughs> degenerate and sick! He give himself a heart attack. The communists, the vermin, <laughs> the criminals have taken over the country. <laughs> Meanwhile, the minority crime wave sweeps America. It just beating goes right to that. Orthodox Jews, beating up Asians, you see how it just goes. robbing them, stealing from them. Not one word from the scum at the top. It's Sunday night. I'm going to sign off right now. I had enough fun. My food's almost done. Let me eat it before the communists steal my last piece of chicken. You tell me it's in the, in the name of equality. The only thing that separates us from Cuba or the ex-Soviet Union... Look. What is it? What's the only thing that separates us from Cuba and the ex-Soviet um, Union? I'm, I'm Where's he going? To, I'm dying to know. Oh, come on. You can guess this. Take him in. Uh, Come on, he's hit on every culture guns, war. Guns, Cambodia, bingo. Only one thing, and you all know what it is. Only one thing. One thing only. <laughs> Suck a fucking amendment. <laughs> That's what you're afraid of, those scumbags. Blow their. See, blow their. Fu he almost got in trouble there. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I fight. was like, wow. Hang on. Yeah. Is that where he's going? He, he stopped himself because, you know, this isn't his radio show. This is just a, a right, home. Right. It's just a live movie. stream. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have a he doesn't have a guy waiting in the wings, you know, saying, hey, whoa. Yeah. Hit it, hit it, hitting the cutoff. But <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Without the Second Amendment passed by the white geniuses called the founding fathers. You know what? <laughs> We'd be serfs living in Cuba, playing backgammon while the scum at the top <laughs> would be stealing every ounce of out of this society. Have a good night. <laughs> Watch. Epilogue. Now you see some of the bitterness come out because, you know, his show got canceled because the younger sort of more... Uh, his hit. show got canceled? Well, he's on a podcast now, but he's not on radio anymore. The, the radio networks dropped him because, you know, younger guys like, well, he'll mention names. You can see he's bitter about the fact that, you know, he's been replaced by some younger guys who... I admit totally are not half as talented as he is. I mean, this guy's a talented broadcaster. Say what you want about his mm -hmm. politics and everything. He's got, he puts on a show, this guy, as we, as we've mm -hmm. seen. Watch yes. some, uh, listen to some Cuban music. I got news for you. Things are coming in my broadcast broadcast career. I can't tell you about, I'll be bigger than ever. And the scum <laughs> like Mark Levin and Ben Shapiro the vermin like Pongino, these phonies, these fakers, these frauds, <laughs> these fake conservatives, these greedy pricks. Don't you wait and see what they do. Wait till you see what the cartel tries to do to stop me. God sees the truth, but waits. God will have the last laugh on all of these imposters. Have a nice night.
Have a nice night. All right. Enjoy your food. <laughs> Take care of yourself. <laughs> Don't get too excited. Oh, my God. What a sicko. <laughs> what a fucking maniac. I mean, what an unbelievable maniac. Just a fucking maniac. Oh, it's so funny. Just it goes from what like stream of consciousness from like once that button gets triggered, it's like goes from transgender bathrooms, minority crime waves, the Second Amendment, and the, you know, the fake conservatives just like, wow. Wow. Well, well, but when but you I know what's hear... interesting about that. Sorry, go ahead. When I hear things like this, I just always wonder how much of it is an act because it's so over the top. It's so overwrought. It's so overdone. Well, Savage's son is a billionaire. He founded the Rockstar Energy Drink. Uh, his name is Russ yeah. Weiner. And so, uh, you know, it, you know, they, they are extremely wealthy, you know, not just by talk radio standards, but there's a lot of money in his family. And I love how he talks about the scum at the top. But see, this is what's interesting about this, because he said over and over again, the scum at the top, the top, the top. You know, he's talking like a bit of a Marxist, but only he's right. he's not interpreting it that way. Right. And that's what you might want to call like right wing populism, which is probably why he responded to Trump very, very quickly, very instantly, right. because. Right. Even though his analysis is far from our analysis, it is a power analysis. He talks about the scum at the top and the regular people, right? And this is why I say, you know, even a guy, even a fucking maniac like this has that understanding that a lot of mainstream liberals don't. You know what I mean? Uh, and right. so, you know, not to defend anything you said there, but it's just interesting to watch interspersed with all this other insane, bigoted you know, crap that he puts in there. Interspersed with that is the scum at the top. Are gonna, the, 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 Biden's going to steal our they're gonna steal our basil. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was that was the craziest thing, because the whole. I mean, that was like a satire right. of a right winger. Right. It really was. Where he, where he starts going off about the base. <laughs> well, it's like you can see he wanted to have a nice... they take my last piece of chicken. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he wanted to have a nice, just peaceful time, just sharing a few thoughts with his audience while he's cooking his food. But then he looked at the basil and that triggered him. They're going to steal. Kamala's going to steal my basil. You know, better cook, get this basil in the pan before the Kamala and Biden come steal it. Yeah. Um, so I'm not saying this doesn't reflect his worldview. Look, we, we always had cranks like this around. Mm -hmm. um, it's just now they've got platforms. You know, my, my neighborhood was full of guys like that, but they were into Nixon back then. And Nixon was really the, uh, the trailblazer for this kind of politics in America. The idea of the of the forgotten men and women, as as Trump put it, or as Nixon put it, the silent majority, you know, right. as the that forgotten conservative majority that doesn't get on TV. And but now they are on TV. And Nixon was right. They were the majority. If you judge by the ratings of Fox relative to its competitors um, and they're largely taken over the country, I, I've. I've long said as much as I'm bitter and angry about what the Democratic Party did to Sanders, the one electoral argument I will give for Biden is nobody was ever going to mistake him for a culture warrior. Like right, that right, right. was good electorally, that nobody would ever. It, it was pretty clear to everyone. Joe Biden probably doesn't even understand a lot of the current cultural conversation right, right, less right. Uh, take right. up the mantle. Right, right. right. exactly. Um, so whereas Bernie was going around more in the second campaign and kind of paying homage to identity politics, um, Biden, like, yeah, never heard of them. <laughs> you know? yeah, exactly. that, that was very clear. And I think on that level, Biden was, was a better choice than anyone else running. I still feel, except for Sanders, for other reasons. Thank you, everybody, for watching. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe wherever you saw it, on YouTube, on Rumble, or on Facebook. We have channels on all three of those platforms. Also, consider helping us create more content by becoming a member at patreon.com front slash do dissidents or on Facebook, where you can become a supporter right through our Facebook page and get bonus content every week, as well as call-in access to our live stream shows. Thank you very much for your continued support.